Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today we're doing another car review and it's over the 2020 Audi R8. All right, so before I go ahead with the review, I just wanna give a shout out to old Daniel, Porsche, and Audi here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, they just got this car in. It did. It, it is a trade-in, but it only has 2,200 miles. Not a whole lot of miles on it. But uh, if you guys are interested in this car or any other cool car that they have here, because they do get a lot of cool cars in. Go ahead, check them out. Their link will be in the description down below. All right, so starting off with the front fascia of the 2020 Audi R8. You can tell it's a bit more updated than the previous generation, especially here on the sides with a bit more vents. But notice, come right up here. The vent right here is fake. And the top half of the main vent is covered up for some reason. You would think that you wouldn't want it all for just to even look better, really. Likewise, over here, this is fake. It still looks really, really aggressive. I really like the headlights, honestly. They go up and come down like that. It gives it a really cool, menacing look. And the one I'm doing today does have the blacked out badges. So that is one of the options you can get the, from the factory. It's blacked out badges. Like so, just to give it your own personal touch and a bit more menacing look. Talking about the exterior, the rear diffuser is different. The exhaust tips are bigger as well. So on the uh, previous generation, it was quad tip. Now it's dual tip. So the engine is in the rear. That leaves a bunch of space up front. And this is the storage space that you get with the car. See the whole front clam opens up, but you only get this, which it's actually not too shabby. Personally, I think it's probably a little bit bigger than the last generation. You got storage right here, got some nets, and you got a pretty decently deep storage with an outlet right here. And this is all the stuff that you get whenever you buy the car. Up here is also where you put in your windshield wiper fluid. It's right there. But yeah, this is a big, big part on the car. You can just tell how massive it is. The whole hood opens up. So you would think that you get a little bit more, but honestly, I think that's actually not too shabby for a supercar. I think, I'm pretty sure last generation was actually a little bit smaller than this. So when I popped it, I was, I was going down here trying to find a lever. There's no lever right here. It's actually right here. You just grab it and pull right up. So that's, that's pretty cool for anyone that wants to know how to open up a hood on an Audi R8. Right back here is your naturally aspirated uh, 5.2 liter, I believe, V10. It makes about 610 horsepower and 580 pound feet of torque, and it's all we're driving that launches a car from zero to 60 in three seconds. Well, Audi says 3.2 seconds, and honestly, I believe you can probably get it a little bit faster than that as well. But this is such a gorgeous car. Let me let me close this door real quick. Another fake vent right there, but this one's real. You would think that that they would have that one open, so then more air could get into the naturally aspirated V10 to keep it cool a bit more. But yeah, this is a really, really, really good looking car. Let's hop on inside and see what it sounds like. Alrighty, so I got the key in my pocket which I will be moving right now because right over here is a nice little slot for this key fob. Just a standard key fob really. It says Audi R8 on the back, not too heavy. Feels really good, feels really durable. Yeah, just slide it right on down in there, like so. Put your foot on the brake. Click start. Gonna get you guys out here for that. And it just roared into life. Here's that uh, Audi cockpit display. tell it just sounds really really good and yeah so you can do a lot with this uh, cockpit display let me close the door you can do a lot so you can control it with this or different stuff on the steering wheel so right now it has the rpm limiter not RPM limiter, the RPM uh, dial up on the screen. So right now I have it set up like this, where the map is all over and the dials are at the bottom. And you can change it right here using the dials. 
you just choose what you want. If you want the navigation, your radio, your, your music, or all different kinds of information and whatnot. And head back. Or if you click view, which is also right here. But actually, before I do that, if you click that dial that was just showed up, you can choose what information you want right here. That's pretty cool. And you can also do the exact same thing with that right there. Let's change it and it would change that as well. But now if you click view, it takes it back up here, click those dials, and it changes it right here. So that is pretty, pretty cool. I really do like that. Wow. And that does show your uh, percentage and stuff. Like, let me just, see, just like that. That's super, super awesome. And coming right over here is your climate control. See, like I said, there's no infotainment center. This is your infotainment center. Right here is different stuff, your climate control, and it shows you what uh, temperature is, where it's coming out from, and how powerful it is. And right up here is your heated seats. But it doesn't have dual climate control, so that's kind of iffy. I mean, I have a 2016 Subaru Legacy, which is less than a quarter of this car. All right, it's a $17,000 car, and it has dual climate control, so I think this one should as well. Come right down here. All the uh, storage, there's some storage down here. There's cool bits and pieces right down there for charging and whatnot. Right here is obviously where you change the gears and whatnot. Right here is your traction control, your a bunch of different stuff that you need. And right here is where you can lift, open up, and uh, raise and put down the spoiler. Don't know why that was so hard for me to say. But right here's your parking brake. And on either side, like right here, you can see a little button. Likewise on this side, open it. And there's actually cup holders right here. So that's really, really cool. A supercar that has cup holders. Come right back here and there is this. You can see that a whole lot. So that is pretty, pretty cool. You can put in different cards, uh, discs, and whatnot as well. Right up here is just some stuff you can do for lights and whatnot. But Really nice Alcantara suede all over the roof. Nice leather seats here. And the seats are actually fairly comfortable. So I really like the seats. Right over here on the door is how you open up the front and edit your mirrors. So yeah, this car is pretty much driver focused. Uh, all this stuff are right here in front of the driver. They don't even have to take off their st uh, hands from the steering wheel. You can drive, choose your different drive modes right here. Sport, comfort, wet, track, and whatnot. So yeah, and the glove box. The glove box is actually quite big. Way bigger than what I thought it was. So that is pretty, pretty awesome. Close that back up. Yeah, there's some storage right down there in the doors. And there's a nice little pouch back here for some extra storage, so really, you can rally this thing, you can daily drive this thing, it's just you won't get the best fuel economy because it's a naturally aspirated V10. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the car review over the 2020 Audi R8, uh, doing the interior, the exterior and stuff. It was really, really awesome. It's one of my dream cars. So, this is one of my favorite car reviews I have ever done for my YouTube channel. But again, it's here at Porsche and Audi here in Fort Wayne. Their link will be in the description down below. They're asking $175,000 for a 2020 Audi R8. But as always, if you guys did like it, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more cool videos to come. But as always, adios, chaps.